Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May Saint Dominic come to the help of your church by his merits and teaching, O Lord. And may he, who was an outstanding preacher of your truth, be a devoted intercession on our behalf. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. On the fifth day of the fourth month of the fifth year, that is, of King Jehoiachin's exile, the word of the Lord came to the priest Ezekiel, the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Kebar, 
There the hand of the Lord came upon me. As I look, a storm wind came from the north. A huge cloud with flashing fire enveloped the brightness from the midst of which the midst of the fire, something gleamed like electrum. Within it were figures resembling four living creatures that looked like this. Their form was human. Then I heard the sound of their wings, like the roaring of mighty waters, like the voice of the Almighty. When they moved, the sound of the tumult was like the din of an army. And when they stood still, they lowered their wings. Above the firmament, over their heads, something like a throne could be seen, looking like sapphire. Upon it was seated, up above, one who had the appearance of a man. Upward from what resembled his waist, I saw what gleamed like spectrum. Electrum. Downward from what resembled his waist, I saw what looked like fire. He was surrounded with splendor, like the bow which appears in the clouds on a rainy day was the splendor that surrounded him. Such was the vision of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all you His angels. Praise Him, all you His hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too, and maidens, old men and, boy and boys. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. And he has lifted up the born of his people. Be this praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Please stand. God has called you through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him, and he will be raised on the third day, and they were overwhelmed with grief. When they, were, when they came to Capernaum, the collectors of temple tax approached Peter and said, Does not your teacher pay the temple tax? 
Yes, he said. When he came into the house before he had time to speak, Jesus asked him, What is your opinion, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take tolls or census tax? From their subjects or from foreigners? When he said, From foreigners, Jesus said to him, Then the subjects are exempt, but that we may not offend them, go to the sea, drop in a hook, and take the fish, first fish that comes up, open its mouth, and you will find a coin worth twice the temple tax. Give that to them for me and for you. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Jesus was always highly regarded and respected by his disciples and even some of his critics because he was always true to his words. He was an effective leader because he gives witness to what he is saying palagi. Kahit may mga detractors siya, kahit may mga kritiko siya, alam nila na consistent si Jesus sa kanyang sinasabi, yun din ang kanyang ginagawa. This is a very powerful image, my dear brothers and sisters, so that in order one to be credible, no, we need to set example for others. Hindi lang puro lecture, pero mismo ikaw nag-i-illustrate no? o nag-de-demonstrate kung ano yung tinuturo mo, kung ano yung sinasabi mo. Giving good example. Today, in our gospel, we are presented with the situation wherein he was asked by a temple person. Yung leader ba ninyo nagbabayad ang temple tax? He was approached, no? and Simon was also asked no, the same way. May mga theological underpinnings po dito. No? Pero what I would like us to reflect on is that no, among those people no, na may mga exempted, no, may mga pwede nang hindi magbayad, no, pinili pa rin ni Jesus na magbayad. No? You know why? Simply because of what He said, but that we may not offend them, but that we may not offend them. No? So that people will follow his good example. But actually, he doesn't need to pay taxes because he is the owner of the temple. He is the Son of God. Pero para magkaroon pa rin ng mabuting ehemplo sa mga taong naka-observe sa kanya dahil isa sang guro doon sa kanyang community, he decided to follow, no? the customs of the temple. Ano bang pwedeng pagnilahayin natin sa Ibanghelyo ngayon? Ito ho, no? For we ourselves, no? Are always invited to set good examples, no? Even if some, sometimes, no? Exempted na tayo. No? Even if sometimes, no? Um, pwede nang hindi na tayo ma-inconvenience, pero we still go the extra mile in order to demonstrate what is right. Kung ano yung nakakabuti para sa lahat. Sana po maging consistent din tayo sa ating pagbibigay saksi, lalong-lalo na sa buhay pananampalataya natin. Dahil marami ho kasing nag-o-observe. No? Maraming nakatingin. Hindi dahil may mga chismosa o chismosa, Pero simply because, no, we are what we preach. We are what we believe. Walang incongruency sa atin. Hindi doble kara. Today, coincidentally, we are celebrating the Feast of St. Dominic. No? And perhaps we can also reflect, no, very timely. We can reflect in, we can reflect his um, story, no, 
Siya po ay isang simpleng pari lamang pero tinatag niya ang isa sa mga pinaka-strong no, na religious order dito sa buong mundo, the Dominican Orders. And he named it Order of Preachers. No? Ang kanilang pinaka-karisma ay magpahayag ng mabuting balita, magturo ng katotohanan. Pero sa tingin nyo ba naging effective sila kapag nagtuturo lang sila? No. They primarily exhibit through their example. No? They always walk the talk. They always exhibit no? what they are teaching. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no, for this Holy Mass, we pray that we may always follow the perfect model, the good example of Jesus. No? And through the intercession of St. Dominic, no, we, may we be inspired no, to uphold the virtue of credibility. No? Credibility. And uphold truth in everything that we say and in everything that we do. Amen. Please stand. In our weakness and need, we turn to God the Father, who as a source of all worldly power and authority, must be served and obeyed. And every prayer we all say, Father, may we live in the spirit of your Son. Father, may we live in the spirit of your Son. That the Church everywhere on earth may speak without fear about the values of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, may we live in the spirit of your Son. That all people may share equitably in the world's material and spiritual goods, and that the state and civic organizations may help and protect the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, may we live in the spirit of your Son. That all citizens may have a strong sense of civic responsibility and that they may actively participate toward the common welfare. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, may we live in the spirit of your Son. That we may become channels of Christ's love and compassion, especially to the sick and those who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, may we live in the spirit of your Son. That the faithful departed may enjoy the kingdom of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, may we live, live in the spirit of your Son. Father of mercy, every talent on earth must be used to foster your reign of justice, peace, and brotherhood among your people. Through our generous support, may we be instrumental in building your kingdom here on earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Attend mercifully to the prayers we offer, O Lord, by the intercession of St. Dominic, and to the great power of this sacrifice, strengthen by the protection of your grace those who champion the faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of St. Dominic, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. May your church, O Lord, receive with wholehearted reverence the power of this heavenly sacrament by which we have been nourished on the commemoration of St. Dominic. And may your church, having flourished by means of his preaching, be helped through his intercession. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.